Calvin Castine at the Minor Farm, Minor Institute in Shazy. It's 27th day of July 2022. We've just come from the Clinton County Fair. We're a very nice flag ceremony, and now we're here for a concert by the Straw Hatters. They're under a tent tonight, so there's not uh, an angle I could get where I'm going to see them all anyway, so I just picked this spot, and we'll shoot from here, and Hope our sound is adequate. This is just uh, no one spot, no angle I could get to uh, get a view of them. And uh, I would be blocking up the crowd if I did, so even if I did attempt, but I won't. But we are here and we're looking forward to this on a very pleasant evening. Temperature in the mid 70s here in the North Country. And late August. jar so if you'd like to make a donation to support the band we would strongly encourage you to do that although it's not mandatory um, and also I'd love to invite you all to come back and visit us on Saturday August 6th we'll be having an open house here at the Institute from noon until 4 so that should be a lot of fun as well we're hoping for a day just like today <laughs> so fingers crossed um, so I guess you don't need to hear any more from me. Let's hear from the Straw Hatters. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you very much, Rachel. Um, we are so delighted to be here this evening and, and uh, even more delighted that all of you had decided to join us. I know for those of you who have um, relatives or friends in the band. I know that this is the first opportunity that you've been able to attend a concert due to um, the last two concerts that we did that were private concerts. So we are so delighted that all of you decided to join us this evening. Our first selection this evening is called the Ringling Brothers Grand Entry. This was composed during L. Sweet's time as the band leader for the Ringling Brothers Circus. Um, the Ringling Brothers Circus was founded in Wisconsin by five of the seven Ringling Brothers. The brothers were the sons of a German immigrant who changed his name to Ringling once he settled in America. In 1882, before the Ringling brothers created their first circus, the five brothers performed skits and juggling routines in town halls around the state of Wisconsin. 
Their first show was on November 27, 1882 in Mazonomy, Wisconsin. They called this the Ringling Brothers Variety Performance when they took the show to the next town. The next year, the brothers toured the Northwest, and after the Northwest tour, they used the money they earned to buy suits for themselves. They expanded their acts into a one-ring show in 1884 and added a trick horse and a bear at the end of the season. Then the circus started traveling by trains in 1888, allowing the show to consistently expand. Here is the Ringling Brothers' grand entry. Basie was a well-known jazz pianist who in 1935 formed the Count Basie Orchestra. Our next selection, Count Basie Salute, is a collection of three jazz tunes. They are April in Paris, composed by Vernon Duke for the Broadway musical Walk a Little Faster, Little Darlin', composed in 1937, 
by Neil Hefty for the Count Basie Orchestra and Jumpin' at the Woodside recorded in 1938 by the Count Basie Orchestra and was considered one of the band's signature tunes. Here is Count Basie Salute.
Our next selection we're going to play is called Danny Boy. This is a beautiful Irish folk tune, which is sometimes called the National Ballad of Ireland and is one of the best known and beloved ballads of all time. Many musicians over the years have performed Danny Boy, including Judy Garland, Glenn Miller and his orchestra, Andy Williams, and Charlotte Church, just to name a few. Our version this evening is arranged by Warren Barker. Here is Danny Boy. Thank you. 
Our next selection we're gonna play is called Pixar Movie Magic. Since 1995, the creator team of Pixar Studios has given us heartwarming stories on unforgettable characters that appeal to audiences of all ages. In addition, the music created for these films is an integral part of their charm and popularity. Here is a great arrangement of these familiar melodies that, will, that audiences will recognize everywhere. They include You've Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, The Spirit of Adventure from Up, The Glory Days from The Incredibles, The Big Race from Cars, and the Ratatouille main theme. Here is Pixar Movie Magic.
throughout my uh, couple of years of experience of conducting in my life, I have found that most audience really enjoy um, patriotic music. So we're going to play a couple of patriotic tunes for you tonight. The first one is God Bless America. Irving Berlin wrote this song in 1918 while serving in the United States Army at Camp, Camp Upton, but decided it didn't fit for any venue, so he set it aside. In 1938, with the rise of Adolf Hitler, he revived God Bless America as a peace song, and it was introduced on Armistice Day broadcast in 1938, sung by Kate Smith on her radio show. God Bless America has become known as Kate Smith's signature tune. Here's God Bless America. Our next selection is called Valdrez. Johann Hansen began writing this march in 1901, but did not complete the march until 1904. Following its premiere during an open air concert in Oslo, Norway, the composer only saw two people applaud, his two best friends. <laughs> he then arranged the work for the orchestra of the National Theater, but Johann Haldarsson, the conductor and also a composer, turned it down. Later, he sold the march to a publisher for $5. 
From that point on, Valdra's March has become known in almost every country where there are brass or wind bands. Although it was his first composition, Hansen admitted near the end of his life that he had never written anything better. Here is Valdrez March. The next selection we are going to play is called Blue Tango. Leroy Anderson was known for writing concert music with a pop quality. In the mid-1930s, Leroy Anderson 
began arranging music for Arthur Fiedler in the Boston Pops Orchestra. Later on, Fiedler encouraged Anderson to write his own tunes for the Boston Pops. His more than 50 compositions served to define the sound of the contemporary American Pops Orchestra. Our next selection, Blue Tango, was a number one hit in 1951. very much. At this time, we would like to honor those of you who have served our country in one of the branches of the armed services. When you hear the theme of your branch of the service, it would be wonderful if you would stand or raise your hand so you can be recognized for your dedication in serving our country. Or if you have a spouse, a child, or other relative or a friend who has served our country but is not in attendance this evening, please stand and be recognized for them. And everyone, please give those people all a great round of applause when they stand. Here is Armed Forces Salute.
Before we play our next selection, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about Straw Hatters. Straw Hatters was formed in 1945 as the Rouse's Point Community Band, and later on, obviously, switched over to the Straw Hatters, but it started out in Rouse's Point, and then um, it moved into Shazy, where it rehearsed for many, many, many years, and then um, when Linda Sullivan conducted, it went into Plattsburgh, and then we rehearsed in Katyville for a while, and now we're back to Shazy, and um, a lot of people said we've gone back home to rehearse. Um, the ensemble, um, as you can tell, is a great in numbers this year, we have about 55 people on our roster this year, which is absolutely wonderful. Obviously, not everyone can make every performance, but it certainly is awesome to have this many um, musicians here to be part of the ensemble. And um, to, we have students in the ensemble who are going into ninth grade. That is the youngest, so they are about 14. And I am told that the oldest is about 80, but we won't say exactly how old. So we really cover a wide range, and that's what's so wonderful about music. It's such a universal language in that everyone can participate. And if you are sitting out there saying, hey, I used to play an instrument, we invite you to consider joining us next year. We do have members of the ensemble this year who picked up instruments after 20, 30, and even 40 years. Right, Sally? So um, if you have played an instrument and you think you might be interested, I have some information that I can give you afterwards. So see me afterwards. I have a little flyer I can give you. And also, if you are sitting out there thinking, hey, I have something going on in my community or an event where I would love to have Straw Hatters play, um, come up and see me again. I also have information about... Um, we are already booked for all of 2022, but we are beginning to think about 2023. So if um, you think you might be interested, um, feel free to come up and see me. And also you can uh, check us out on Facebook as well. Straw Hatters Concert Band is on Facebook as well. Our next selection, In Times of Triumph, is composed by James Swearingen. has a great spirited jig-like melody that is full of vigor and energy, while the lush, expressive, slower section flows with elegance and grace. Here is In Times of Triumph.
Our next selection we're going to play is entitled The Stripper, which is an instrumental composition by David Rose, recorded in 1958 and released four years later. It has a jazz influence with a specially prominent trombone glisses and evokes the feel of a music used to accompany a striptease artist. The, the Stripper reached number one on Billboard's Top 100 chart in July 1962 and became a gold record. Billboard ranked the record as number five song of 1962. Here is the stripper.
The 1967 Disney movie, The Jungle Book, certainly had many great tunes. Bare Necessities, our next selection, is a jazz tune from the movie which featured Baloo and Mowgli. Here is Bare Necessities. Sousa composed our next selection in 1889. Since then, the Washington Post March has remained as one of the most popular marches in the United States and in many other countries. Here is the Washington Post.
thank you very much. Before we finish out this evening's performance, I would just like to um, thank Rachel for inviting us back. Um, last year, um, she reached out to the to the group, and we did the first performance that they the group had done in two years. So it was, and that was the only performance that we did last year was um, here right here at Minor. So it was great, and we're so excited to be back here and to see all of you here this evening. We greatly appreciate the support, and we look forward to seeing uh, hopefully many of you at future performances. Um, so um, our next, actually, our next performance is Saturday at the fair. So let's hope that it's a. a, a Nice day that day, too, and not rain. So we are going to end um, this evening's performance with um, our national anthems. We will play O Canada, followed by the Star Spangled Banner. And I would also like to thank the band members for an outstanding performance tonight and your dedication to the group. It's, it's been a great evening, so thank you very much.